So today we're going to be making bunny cookies um, for Easter. So I have attached the bunny head template down below. So let me know in the comments down below if you have a hard time seeing it and I'll send it to you. Um, but first we're going to take that big bunny head and we are going to outline it onto a cream felt. You're going to want two bunny heads, one for the top of the cookie, one for the bottom. Um, once they are outlined, you're going to move on with cutting that out. Again, I use a disappearing ink pen that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, I always use the purple side be um, instead of the blue side. Blue side tends to not fade all that well on light felt. So just keep that in mind if you do have this pin. Um, but once you have it cut out, you're going to move on to your frosting. You're going to take the smaller bunny head to outline onto a frosting of your choice. For this cookie, I'm going to be doing white because I'm going to be adding flowers to the cookie and I want those flowers to really pop. So um, I am doing a white frosting, but you can do whatever frosting you want to do. Once you have your frosting cut out, you'll lay it on your top piece of your cookie, just making sure that it's nice and even. I will then go in with a hot glue gun and just do a little dab of glue just to make sure that that felt isn't going to move while I stitch it. So then you're going to take your needle and your thread and you're going to start on the back side and bring your needle up along the edge of that white felt. Um, move your needle down just a little bit before pushing it back through the back side. Um, this is just securing that top piece onto your top, the top of the cookie. Um, but you will do this stitch along the whole edge of that white felt. Um, once you get back to your first initial stitch, you will then want to secure all those stitches that you just made. So you will flip your bunny head over to the back side. Um, you will then take a little bit of felt with your needle. And before you pull that thread all the way through, you will run your needle through that hoop, not once, but twice, and then pull tight. This is creating a knot in your thread and will secure everything that you just did. From there, we're gonna move on to making the flowers. Now, I found these little flowers at Hobby Lobby in a package um, for $4. Um, I'm using it as my template for my flowers. They're the perfect size. So I'm gonna do it on a green felt, purple felt, and a pink felt. And then once I have them cut out, I'm going to line them up on my cookie um, just to make sure that I have them in the right spot before I tack them on. Um, but again, I'll go in with my hot glue gun and put a little bit of glue on the back side just to make sure that they don't shift as I'm stitching. Um, don't put a lot of glue. Um, it is very, very hard to get your needle through the glue once it's dried. Um, so just put a little bit um, just to secure it. But from there, you're going to take your matching thread and you're going to come again from the back side up along the edge of that pink felt and then move your needle down just a little bit onto the pink felt before pushing it to the back side of the cookie. Um, I usually do three stitches on each petal just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Um, but you'll do this along the whole edge of the pink flower before moving on to the purple flower. And again, once you get back around to your first initial stitch, once the flower is fully tacked down, you'll want to make sure that those stitches are all secure. So again, you'll flip your bunny um, to the back side and you'll take a little bit of felt with your needle. And then um, once you have that hoop, you'll run your needle through that hoop, not once, but twice and then pull tight. From there, I will then tack on the purple flower the same way that I did with the pink one. And then I move on to adding the centers of the flower, which is going to be the small circle. I do a yellow felt for the circles. And it's just the same thing. You're going to take your needle on the back side and run it along the edge of that circle. Um, dropping the needle down just a little bit onto the yellow felt before pushing it to, towards the back side. I usually do four stitches on the, the yellow uh, circles uh, just to make sure that they're completely tacked down.
Once I have both the circles tacked down for the pink and purple flower, I will then move on to the green green flower. Now this is up to you. I didn't want to tack down the full flower. I wanted to only tack down the center. I felt like it gave it a little bit more um, depth. So I'm going to just tack down the yellow piece and leave the green petals for me to kind of fluff up. But you can definitely tack down the full green flower if you want to, but I think it gives it a, a nice dimension. Um, again, flip your bunny over when you're done. Um, make sure that you tack or secure all those stitches that you just did. And then from there, you're going to start to um, connect your top cookie piece to the base of the cookie. And this is where the, your blanket stitch is going to come in. So you're going to line up your pieces. You're going to take your needle and start on in between both pieces. Um, and push it towards the back side. Make sure that you tuck in your knot that's at the end of your thread before you come up and over and take your needle and push it through the top piece and come in between again and pull tight. This will be the start of your blanket stitch. From there, you, you will move your needle over just a little bit and this time you're gonna push your needle through both pieces of felt and before you pull tight, you're gonna run your needle through that hoop and then pull tight. Um, you're going to move over just a little bit and do the same thing. You're going to do this blanket stitch along the whole edge of the bunny. Now for this cookie, I decided not to stuff it with polyfill. Um, I wanted to, it to keep it flat. I just liked it better, but you can definitely stuff it with polyfill if you want. Just make sure that you stuff it before you um, close up the hole. Um, now I got back to my original stitch. I usually go two to three stitches past my original stitch before I secure it, which once you secure it, you're just running your needle through that hoop, not once, but twice to create a knot in the thread. And then I run my needle through the backside of the cookie so that there's no strands um, uh, on the outside. And there you go. You have a perfect little Easter Bunny cookie.